Tonight on Sports Unlimited, baseball season opens this week except for Otis Nixon. The Atlanta Braves outfielder talks about serving his suspension for drug abuse. The Cardinal wins the NCAA, and Chip Beck scores a difficult win in the Big Easy. Don't touch that dial. He's got it. Bill Hartman and this is Sports Unlimited. The baseball season is finally here. Nine games are scheduled tomorrow. The Braves will open Tuesday night in Houston against the Astros. Cy Young Award winner Tom Glavin against Houston's Pete Harnish. It'll also begin the 16-game suspension for outfielder Otis Nixon. Now remember he was suspended late last season after he tested positive for cocaine. Otis has worked hard all spring at West Palm Beach and now he says he's ready to go but knows he's got to sit out at two weeks plus before he can play. It's going to take your heart out not to be out there? It's going to be just uh, something i got to deal with. You know, it's a problem. I dealt with a lot of the stuff that went on during the uh, offseason, and this is part of it, you know, so I'm prepared for it. I'm excited about the season. We're excited about the season as a, as a ball club and everything, and, uh, you know, we got some guys that's going to be out there, Dion and uh, Mitchell, that's going to be playing while I'm gone. And, you know, this is a new thing that's going to come out here. Ryan Gant is going to be in left field, and I'm going to be in center field when this comes about and everything. But, uh, you know, we're having fun about it, and we're excited about spring training right now and uh, just getting, uh, getting ready to start the season. Up. I remember being with you and Terry Pendleton in the clubhouse one day when you were both tied for the National League batting league. Now, is that going to, can that happen again? Was that something that may never happen to you, to be that high in a batting you never know. I mean, you know, just like we, we left last year and we said we're going to be consistent and we're going to play hard. We're doing the same thing with this year. We're not looking at the, 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 the Cincinnati. There's some clubs out there that picked up some quality pitching this year. The, the, the division is going to be a lot tougher. But what we feel good about is that we got the same players we had last year. And uh, we know one another and everything. So, you know, we prepared to stay on that ground. It's not going to be easy this year. It's going to be tough. You don't think you might have had a career year? I said I had a good year. You know, whether I turn around and do it again, I'm going to be consistent, continue to do the same things that I did before. And that takes the pressure off saying, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And I think Terry turned around and said, which he had a great season. Oh, yeah. But when that was going on and everything, that's part of when that's part of having fun and that's what we're going to turn around and try to do the same thing again tomorrow night jeff hollinger and i will preview the season with the first pitch at 8 30 right before the ncaa championship basketball game jeff will be live from the astronome astrodome i'll be inside atlanta fulton county stadium to show you how much it has changed 8 30 be there next on sports unlimited ncaa championship basketball the cardinal takes the women's championship that story and more Every sports sedan is supposed to do well in the fast lane. But what about these lanes? At Lexus, we've achieved extremely tight tolerances between all major body panels. So not only does the ES300 look like it's put together well, it actually is put together well. It's a Super Monday for Sports on Channel 5. For now, that sounds interesting. Starting at 8.30 with Braves 92, the first pitch. Yes! Join Channel 5's Jeff Hollinger live from Houston. Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And Bill Hartman for a preview of the 92 Braves. Oh, it's coming, son. It's coming. Then at 9, March Madness comes to a peak with the NCAA championship game. Can we go that one more time? Braves 92, the first pitch on the NCAA championship game starting 8.30 Monday on Channel 5. For investigative consumer reporting with an edge, Georgia turns to Channel 5's Virginia Ellis. It's just a really big rip -off. When a local employment agency was making big job promises, she uncovered their shady business. This is not good at all. When Georgians were shelling out good money for bad glasses, she opened your eyes. I wasn't expecting a cent back. And when thousands of dollars of your money was going unclaimed, she told you how to cash in. For consumer reporting that pays, turn to Virginia Ellis and Channel 5 Eyewitness News. This cop spent his career fighting for justice. Inside Edition goes undercover to expose a possible conspiracy to destroy him. Joe Acapinti worked hard to put crooks behind bars. Now he's called a criminal convicted on the testimony of the same men he was investigating. Watch Inside Edition. Monday at 4 on Channel 5.
640 WDST and Peach are the new radio homes of the Atlanta Braves. Braves Radio is 640 WDST and FM 95 WPCH. There was an NCAA championship basketball today, the women's championship. Stanford beat Western Kentucky 78-62. That is Val Whiting. She had 17 points. She had 13 rebounds. Christy Hedgepeth, the drive and the scoop off the glass. Stanford getting a big play from Rachel Hemmer. She had 18. Western Kentucky mounted a small charge to cut the lead to 10 points. Christy Jordan, Kalisa Lang, who had 18, but the Cardinal wins over Western Kentucky, 78 to 62. The men's game is tomorrow, 9 o'clock, right here on Channel 5. Duke against those freshmen from Michigan. Masters coming up this week in Augusta. Who's hot going into the big one? The winners from today's tournaments. I'll have that story next. McDonald's introduces the return of the Wild West. May I take your order? Yes, ma'am. I reckon you can. For a limited time, try the saucy, sassy McRib. Or an eye-opening Western omelet McMuffin for breakfast. Howdy, boys. Mind if I join what you? What you want is what you get. At McDonald's today. Mosey on into a participating McDonald's today and rustle up big savings on the McRib sandwich, now just $1.99. And the hearty Western omelet McMuffin, now only 99 cents. In the hustle and bustle of life, we all need one thing. <laughs> A good laugh! <laughs> and you can count on Channel 5 for nothing but laughs, beginning at 11.30 p.m. with Love Connection. Way back on the board, I fell asleep, right? That was the best five day. Followed by Arsenio at midnight. See, the kind of lady do anything for you. She'll give you the hair off her back. Two and two equal five weeknights of laughter on WAGA-TV Channel 5. I heard that. No matter how hard I try, I couldn't get her last words out of my head. As I came over the ridge, I kicked it in a fifth. And suddenly, I couldn't hear a word she said. See the motorcycle of the year at Al Rodi Honda, freewheeling Honda BMW, and Roswell Honda Suzuki. Before the clouds form in the sky, before there is a drop of rain, before the forceful winds blow, learn how to protect yourself from the storms. I'm Channel 5's Ken Cook. Learn the difference between a tornado watch and a tornado warning, and what you can do to be safe in a storm with Channel 5's Tornado Tracker Brochure. Find your Tornado Tracker Brochure at area Winn-Dixie stores. Together, we'll weather the storms. Former Georgia Bulldog Chip Beck won the New Orleans Open and goes to Augusta as the hot golfer. This is Chi-Chi Rodriguez as he is at their tradition. The seniors tournament in the Southwest. Lee Trevino, great shot on the 17th hole. He'd make a birdie to take the lead at 14 under. Jack Nicklaus on the 18th hole. It hangs on the lip of the cup. That left Trevino this par to win it. Lee Trevino wins at the tradition. Now, as I was telling you, Chip Beck won the New Orleans Open and goes to Augusta as the hot golfer on the regular tour. Here he is on the par 5 11th hole. This putt for an eagle. You going to see that or not? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Chip Beck, the winner, he goes to Augusta as... The hottest golfer on the tour as the Masters begins this coming Thursday. Uh, that'll do it for this abbreviated edition of Sports Unlimited. I'm Bill Hartman, and I'll see you back here next Sunday night. Sports Unlimited, brought to you by Lexus Luxury Automobiles. The result of a relentless pursuit of perfection.